Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Sonora Game and I am Camera Face and this is Sly Lasari about to play the Pokemon Christmas Quiz! Ooh. So this is basically to get ready for what's coming out next week. Pokemon... which one is it? S-Word. S-Word, yes. Pokemon S-Word that's coming out on our YouTube channel. I have for Sly today some questions about Pokemon Red and Blue. Why is that? We were born in a land far, far away. Many, many years ago. <laughs> uh, that was what we played when we were younger. So yeah. essentially, we're going to do, do it in two stages. We've got a little quiz questionnaire that you're doing for me. And we're going to do one that I do for you, which is a bit different, which is not around the games. It's more around the TV series, because he knows stuff about that. We're scraping the barrel for me, because my knowledge is poor, exactly. That is a great example of that. <laughs> So, uh, without further ado, I shall hand you over to, um, to this joker. Cool. <laughs> Question one. Which of these Pokemon was the first to be created? Was it A, Rhydon, B, Jigglypuff, C, Bulbasaur, or D, Pikachu? Created. Um, what was the creator's name? Uh, Satoshi uh, Tajiri. Yeah? Tajiri, yeah. So, so created. What was what was it again? What the? All right. So you got Rhydon, Jigglypuff, Bulbasaur, and Pikachu. I reckon. And you guys can play at home as well. Yeah, I reckon it was R Rhydon. Rhydon. Yeah. Oh, do yeah. I have any lifelines? By the way. We've got 50-50, we've got phone of friends, because there's no audience here. Oh uh, yeah, so what am I going to do? <laughs> Call someone! I tell you what, because it's not, shall it, should we throw in an extra 50-50? Oh, I can't, have one I can't have one per... Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's and the rules. <laughs> and a rock, paper, scissor, get the answer. Brilliant. Cool. Yeah. Sweet. So, and it is... Are you sticking with Rhydon? It was Rhydon, Jigglypuff, Bulbasaur, and Pikachu. I choose... Jigglypuff. Yeah. Yeah. 100%? No. No? No. Okay, so what's your answer then? Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. Incorrect, I'm uh... afraid. Sorry about that. But if you guys know, it is Raidon, the first Pokemon that Satoshi Tajari uh, created in Pokemon. Question two. Game Freak. <laughs> Which of these Pokemon can be found in the Viridian Forest? And remember, this is for games Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue. Is it A, Pinsir? B, Pikachu, C, Butterfree, or D, Rumi. Rumi! Yay! Picture somewhere here. Face. <laughs> was Pikachu C? Pikachu was C. I think it no, was C. it was B. Okay, I think Pikachu was... I think it was B. B. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, got it right. Well done, well done. Jigglypuff. <laughs> <laughs> you in this Jigglypuff fantasies. Jigglypuff. All right, I question... I should have started with <laughs> No, you did well on Rydon one. Question three. What Pokemon becomes lighter in weight after it evolves? Is it A. Dugtrio, B. Clefable, C. Alakazam, or is it D. Poliwrath? I think Dugtrio. It becomes lighter mm. after it evolves from Diglett. Mm -hmm. You don't want to use a lifeline? No. I'm afraid it's the wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> How many have you got right? One out of three so far. Yeah. Question four. It's gonna get a little bit harder. Thank you. Who gives? <laughs> Just like Rydon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a name! But not like the one that got lighter. No, not like Alakazam. Not like Alakazam. Go... All right. Who gives you HM zero one Cut. on the SSN? Is it A the captain? B a man who lost his granddaughter? C, a stripper, or is it D, a sailor? I've been on many ships, and by many I mean three, which okay. is, is more than one, D so, and potentially more than two as well. Potentially. So, on a ship? Okay. What do you see? What do you see on a ship? Yes. Lots of seamen. That is true. And lots of sea. In a I ship. reckon it a was, is a captain? Yes. A. Captain. Sure about that? I'm sure about that. Yuck shouldn't have looked. Yuck shouldn't looked? Yeah, that's a quote from the from the game. Ah. Yuck shouldn't have looked. When you look in the captain's bin. Oh. Ah. Well done, well done. And shortly after you battle your rival. Hey, you remember? Word. Well done. Question five. The creator of Pokemon had a particular hobby that inspired the game. Stripping. <laughs> 
Which type collaborated with that hobby? Is it A, fire? Is it B, ground? Is it C, bug? Or is it D, ghost? Think of what a particular hobby. Yeah, he had a particular hobby okay. that inspired the game. But what type collaborated with that hobby? I mean, think about all the stuff you can do with fire, all the things that you can do with ground, all the things you can do with bugs, and all the things you can do with ghosts. I reckon it was to do with collecting bugs or collecting something. It could be ground, yeah, geological, or it could be could, bugs. I mean, he could be a hiker, so he could be could be uh, bugs. Fire. I'm gonna say bugs. Bugs, bugs, yeah, bugs, yeah, bugs, yeah. C was it. Yeah, well done. I'm surprised you got that one, you know? Yeah, well done. You've been doing your research. No, I haven't. <laughs> it was just, um, i tell you what I did. I took a step back. What's it about? Apart from enslaving a race of pocket monster monsters. Um, what do you do? What do you do? What was the biggest push? You've got to catch them all, got to collect them, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. What do you collect in real life that compares to some of those questions? People collect bugs. Apparently he did. And ghosts. That, that was horrible. Yeah, collect ghosts. <laughs> collect poltergeists. This Caspar. Scenario gaming. <laughs> collect poltergeists. <laughs> okay, great. That is three out of five. Question six. What two items must you pick up in the Savari Zone in Fusia City? HM3 and Secret Key. Item Finder and Bike. HM3, Gold Teeth. Was it HM3 and a lovely bunch of coconuts? <laughs> Lovely bunch of coconuts. <laughs> 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 okay, that was meant to go behind us. I reckon it's A. So you think it's the key? No. You don't want to listen to the rest of the other two? I heard the other two earlier. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm just, just playing for time. Okay. It's A. A. It's an incorrect, I'm afraid. Oh. What can we do? It, the answer was C. HM3 and Gold Teeth. Whoever he gave that Gold Teeth to, do you remember? Gold, gold Teeth. Gold. Gold Teeth. Oh, Gold Teeth. I thought you said Gold Teeth. Well, uh, how, how, that's a goatee. <laughs> well, I thought you meant goatee. Well, like, that's the way you said it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard that wrong from what you said. If you said goatee, I'm going to clip it. Goatee? <laughs> Alright, this one should be okay for you, I reckon so. Where is, where is Team Rocket's hideout in Celadon City? Is it A, in the Poker Gym? Is it B, in a Pokemon? Is it C, in Game Corner? Or is it in D, in your mum's basement? Oh... I think it's in your mum's basement. In my basement. In your mum's downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> you mean in Pallet Town, don't you? Yes. Right, I see. Well, where else is it going to be? It's in your mum in Pallet Town. Yeah, it's in your mum's basement. No, it's, 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 it's in the basement. No, in the mum. I think. Is that, what, is that was, what was B? Uh, B was Pokemark. Mark. Okay. Oh, oh the, big, the big. Yes. Like 8, 13. That's how the big many floors? Uh, Too many. Was seven. Too many. Um, I think it was D, but I'm going to go with C. You going with C? Going to go with C. Well done, well C done. Now. Congratulations. Question eight. After you catch all 150 Pokemon, you're a, you if, are... If, if. Because you've got to trade some. Yeah, of course. But when you do trade between really A awkward. and B. Red, and, red and blue. Red and blue. Yeah. It is. Or but green if it was Japanese. The question. Question eight. After you catch all 150 Pokemon... You can get your diploma. Where can you receive this? Ah, oh, fudge icicles. Is it A, uh, Professor Oak's lab? Is it B, Celadon City? Is it C, a Pokemon gym? Mm. Is it D, a psychiatric ward? It's definitely not D, because I know that really well. <laughs> the haunting are you, screams. Are, are you really a uh, probation over there? <laughs> Probation. <laughs> or gaming. Collect poltergeists in your head. The first thing that you, or one of the first things that you do, not the first thing. One of the first things you do in the game is have to collect Pokedex information for Professor Oak. Yes. But I vaguely recall, and I'm pulling this out the back of my head from years and years back, that you go to the top and you get a certificate from I've forgotten what the answers were now. Okay, Prof Professor Oak's lab. It's not that one. Celadon City. That one. Or Pokemon Gym. Or psychiatric ward. Oh, could be D. No, it's definitely um, Celadon City. Celadon City? Yeah. Yeah. Well done, well done. I can't believe I scraped that out of my no. head. <laughs> Good thinking. Because I, 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 your first thing is to go for like Professor Oak because he gave you the Pokedex. Yes. But I vaguely remember when I did that yep. years ago, I had to go over to Celadon City and there's those blokes in that little room up. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's why I, I don't I know. 20, what, 22 years later? That I remember it's been 22 that. years. <laughs> it wow. came out when I was eight. <laughs> Jeez. So, question nine. 
And Pikachu. <laughs> you might find this one interesting. <laughs> what is Camera Face's favourite Pokemon in Pokemon Red and Blue? Okay. Jigglypuff. That was way easy, man. It hasn't, I haven't asked to... Oh, go on then. I haven't put if the one of them is Jigglypuff, that has to be the right answer. I'll let you finish. All right, let me finish. Let me, let finish. me stop interrupting. All right. Is it A, Charizard? Is it B, Zapdos? Is it C, Dragonite? Or is it D, Mewtwo? Okay. That's so. interesting. I'll tell you what I will no, do. Jigglypuff. Because I've forgotten to do them. I still reckon it's Jigglypuff. In your heart, it's Jigglypuff. <laughs> Maybe on Pokemon Stadium. In his heart. In Pokemon Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> what are my lifelines? Yeah, 50-50. Yeah, 50-50. <laughs> I can only use one. <laughs> and you've got rock, right. paper, scissors. I'm, I'm going to use 50-50. Right. I'm going to write on a piece of paper what I think it is before that. Because when I guess, I've either got it right or wrong. Do we have a pen and paper? Now we've got I something even better. i glasses on because I need glasses. Got something even better. Oh. Ooh, okay. And you, it doesn't matter if you show me because... <laughs> no, no, well, I would like to bring it up at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. Of course. Right, so 50-50 right. me. All right, 50-50, yeah? Yeah. All right, so I will say Charizard Okay. or Dragonite. I will go... Is that A or B, or is that... That is going to be A or C. A or C. And C... A is Charizard. Yes. And C is... Dragonite. Dra Dragonite. I'm going to go with C. Dragonite. Go with C? Yeah. Well done. Boom! You know me! Can I just say... No! <laughs> Is it the other way around? You know, oh, it's, good. Split, it's good. Split it's it, good. It? It's good. Yeah, he got it right. Well done. He's got starting to know me a little bit more in this damn spaceship. <laughs> you might be able to answer that one, but can you answer this next one? Maybe. What is Camera Face's favorite EV evolution? Okay, let me rub Dragonite off. Just rubbing Dragonite <laughs> off. Done. Rub Dragonite off. Continue. Continue. Okay, so is it A, Jolteon? Okay. Is, is it B, Vaporeon? Is it C, Flareon? Or is it D, Eevee? <laughs> right, I will go for my rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, you get to win? Yeah. Right. Okay, cool. Three, two, right, one. we're doing three, two, one, one, two, three, because last time it was confusing. Yeah. Right, okay. Three, two, one, one, two, three, go. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I didn't want to get that straight away. That would be awful. <laughs> I mean, and everyone goes for scissors. Right, I'm going to go for... I'm going to say Eevee. You're going to say Eevee? I'm going to say D. You're going to go for the D. D. You're going to go for it. I know, yeah, because D's your favourite. You love D's the D's not too. my favourite. A like is D. my favourite. Oh, Jotion in the game. Question oh, 11. Yeah. yeah, cool. So I'm going to ask you three last questions. Okay, three bonus questions. Three bonus questions. Which Pokemon can you get in Pokemon Red, but not in Pokemon Blue? Ooh. Is it A, Weedle? You're cheeky. Is it B, Coffin? Is it C, Cypher? Or is it D, Agumon? Is A, Weedle? A is Weedle? A. You don't want to listen to Russ? No. You're incorrect. Oh, Unfortunately, was it Cypher? It was Cypher. Yeah. Not bad, though. I have to get some wrong. I have to get some wrong. Some. Well, it's a bit boring <laughs> if you get them all right. <laughs> all right, here's, here's an interesting one for you. And I didn't know this until this morning. But Oh, okay. Which gym leader, once you defeat them, gives you a badge straight away during the dialogue, whilst other gym leaders give you a badge in the field screen? Okay, so you don't have to go back and talk to them. Yes. They give it to you straight away. Yes. Okay. There's only one that does it. Okay, go for it. So it is A, Brock. B, Misty. C, Blaine. Or is it D, Giovanni? Mm, I can say straight up it's not the first two. Straight up? Mm, I reckon it's not the first two, unless it was Brock who gives you... Bide. But it's a tough one because I didn't know. What do you guys think? Yeah, put in the, the comments below. I'm going to go with there's no point me using 50 50 because if I use 50 50, you're just going to say those two. <laughs> yeah, and you don't have Unless, enough lines. The answer was one of the other ones 50 50. Two answers. Two answers are Brock, Boom, and Blaine. Okay. Which one do you think it is? Okay. I think it's C, Blaine. You think it's Blaine? I think it's Blaine. 100 percent Yeah. Unfortunately not. It is, oh it is no, Brock. I should have got it right from that. Because that's what I thought, and then I thought, oh hold on, maybe he's being clever, and you weren't being clever. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, you thought I had it then, didn't I you? Thought you had it, I was like, ah, should have got This is what happens when you don't go for your first instinct. So I would have got Jolty on then I would have got that one. Yeah. You would have got right on well as well. Yes. The first one. You're right. So you would have been You're on a roll. Right. Yeah, I would have got so many right. Trust your instincts. Mm-hmm. Alright. Last question. In Europe. 
on Game Boy. What was the release date for Pokemon Red and Blue? Was it A, 31st of oh December? <laughs> it's literally that explicit. I thought you were going to give me different years. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. 31st of December, 1998. Is it B, the 5th of October, 1999? Is it C, 17th of February, 1998? Or is it D, 12th of June 2000. What were the two 1998s? 31st of December and 17th of February. And the other one was February? February 17th. And what was the 1999 one? 5th of October. That one seems most logical because it came out in 96 in Japan. It was created in 96, came out in 97. Instinct makes me says 98, but they would release it for Christmas. So it's either f February, March 98 or it's October 99. So whittling it down to those two things, because I can't remember, I got it on my on Boxing Day on my birthday, the year of release. So that doesn't indicate anything because it could have been either of those dates. So I was, it makes sense for it to come out in October for Christmas. So ergo it would be 99, but I think it came out in 98. So it's gonna have to be February, March, whatever it was, 98. It wouldn't have been Christmas. Wouldn't have been thirty first of December because that would have been a really silly thing to do. Right. I'm gonna say that March ninety eight, whatever it was. February ninety eight. February ninety eight. I'm, I'm sorry, it's incorrect. Is it the October ninety nine? Yeah. I fucking knew it was one of those. <laughs> I knew it was one of those. <laughs> and I should have gone with the instinct that you would release in October for Christmas. Yes. Uh, when you said that, I was like, he's got it. Yeah. And yeah. Like, nope. And annoyingly, that was the thing I was clinging to, and I was like, no, yeah. because but then you the went year away before, from that. the year before, and I, and I keep doing that. I don't know why. Through the whole video, I was going against my instinct. So I put it to you that in the, the flip side of this, you go with your instinct. Because I'm I would have, had, I would have got pretty much everything right. <laughs> All right, so you got you got seven out of 13. That's not too bad. It's not bad. Not there, I mean, bad. there were some hard questions, yeah. to be fair, as well. And there was about three there I should have got. Yeah, so, so you could have got uh, 10 out of 13. Yeah, so I would say my knowledge is fairly good, especially yeah. getting the bug question. Yeah, I, I was surprised and, you um, got that. But it was good thinking, though. Kind of. I sort of knew it, but didn't know it. I enjoyed that. Right, you ready for round B? Round B, here we go. Nice one. Welcome back to part two. Slightly <laughs> different quiz this time. I'm going to ask Camera Face questions and instead of giving him four answers to choose from he has to give me the answers and the rules that so instead of three lifelines of 50 50 and rock paper scissors Ow. instead of that we're going to do you want to lift your board up <laughs> and uh, so we've got you've got three hints over the course of 10 questions potential two bonus questions this isn't about games like the previous one this is about series and the film so the anime let's do this let's do question this question one you're going to want to concentrate for this one i think Question P. one. Pika <laughs> You ready? I'm ready, come on. I'm excited. Cool, because we don't have much battery less, so stop interrupting. <laughs> Name the first five Pokemon Ash captured in the original Pokemon series. Mm -hmm. The caveat is that this is battled and captured, not willingly joined like Charmander. So, so he would have to have thrown a Pokeball and it hit them in a form of battling and weakening it right. or capturing it so okay. not charmander joins yeah, the group. yeah yeah five yeah then, five only five only oh, five fucking and they have to be that he's even captured catch five in the indigo league yeah i don't think yeah he did yeah. yeah okay so i remember the first one being Caterpie. yeah and then it's uh pidgeotto yeah right easy ones out the way yeah we had crabby as well who he did didn't actually battle with, with it, a Pokemon. it would count it would count yeah because he threw a pokeball at it Primeape was one, and the last one. There's more than the last one, by the way. It's more than the last one? Yeah. Yeah, Caterpie, Pidgeotto, Krabby, Primeape, and uh, do, do evolutions count? Like it's Metapod, Butterfree? First five. Oh, no, 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 because that comes under Caterpie. Right, okay. Oh, wait, I know it's, it's the balls. It's the balls. Um, Your pardon? It's, it's <laughs> <laughs> My ball. Yeah, yeah that one. Um, Taurus. Okay, so you think it's Caterpie, Pidgeotto, Krabby, Primeape, and Taurus? Yeah, not in, in that the order. First five. Not in that order. It doesn't have to be in that order, but you reckon it first five. Yes. You sure? Yes. Final answer? Yes. Okay, the first five were Caterpie, Pidgeotto, Bulbasaur, who made him fight him to capture him. Come on, but how? Yeah, um, but Bulbasaur, he had to battle. Bulbasaur made him battle, and then he threw a Pokeball and captured him. And then it was Krabby and Primate. So you were close, you got four out of five, which is good. 
You still got the question wrong. I feel teethed. <laughs> I feel teethed after that. Are you serious? He feels teethed and I feel gummed. Let's move on to question two. During the original series. Which one? The original, the Which first one? series. Kanto. Yeah. Is that the answer? No. Oh. Let me finish. Or no. We'll run out of memory. <laughs> During the original series, what was Gary Oak's starter Pokemon? Professor Oak's grandson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blastoise. So you got Squirtle. Are you sure? A hundred percent. Because he. Are you put... sure he didn't capture one later on? No, because he was a. He joked about that with his um with his um, granddads. Yeah. B. He used that in the the Johto League. Yeah. At the end. Are you sure? Versus Charizard. Yeah. So one hundred percent. You were saying Blastoise. Blastoise was Gary Oak's starter Pokemon. Yes. Sorry, not Blastoise. Squirtle. Squirtle. Case. Squirtle. My Squirtle. Squirtle. Was Squirtle. 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 And unfortunately, it was Squirtle. Hey! You know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Next question, question three. Pokemon Master. <laughs> uh, apart from the first question. Five out of six. Question three. What were Ash, Brock, and Misty's shoe colours in the original Kanto series? So this is taking into account their generic attire, not when they wore anything else. Red. All of them. No, so I think all, all of them. Got, right. I, I can think of the rest of it. It's the shoes. It's the, yeah, the, that's that, that was uh, because I could <gasps> say what colour was Ash's shirt and you would get it. Black. So I thought, okay. Yeah. yeah. Don't some, forget some you have jeans. three hints. You have three hints. I do have three hints. How many questions are there? There's ten plus two bonus And questions. how many am I on now? You're on number three. <laughs> His shoes, man. I'm going to go for hints. Let's go for a hint. Hint one. Hint one. Circle it or something. We're looking for three answers, one for each. They are indeed double coloured. All three of their shoes are and double coloured. And they're all different. Mm -hmm. They're not the same. Mm -hmm. That is the hint. It's white. I think white. Red and white for Misty? Mm -hmm. Right, so that's one of them. But Misty has red and white. Yeah, so black black and white was uh, Ash. Yep. And then Brock was... So you got black, <laughs> that's fine. But red and... Red and white. Yeah, that was Misty's. Yeah, but so red, red and black, red yeah. and blue. Could be even, it could be even red and blue. Right, so you got red and white yeah. and black and white. Yeah. What would Brock's be? I can't throw you any more hints than that. No, That's just practically no. giving it to you, man. All right, black and white, red and white. It's just, the the majority. The, the they definitely red, have white in it. Yeah, they have white. It could be blue and white. No, he had the kind of greyish shoes. If I remember, unless that's in the Johto League. Black. Black and white like ashes. Mm. So you've gone for red and white with Misty's, which is correct. Black and white with Ash, that's correct. Are you sure you want to go with black and white for Brock? Bearing in mind they're all different colours. They've all got white, but they've mm. all got different colours. I think we didn't wear anything light. I reckon maybe dark blue or something. Correct, blue. Red, blue, and black, and they all had white. So black and white for Ash, yeah. blue and white for Brock, and red and white for Misty. <sighs> that is hard, though. It didn't take much prompting. <laughs> Right, we are on question four. <laughs> Lovely. I wonder what the smell was. Question four. <laughs> In the original series Indigo Pokemon League, what arena, so the Pokemon League in the first series, what arena were Ash's first two battles on? So these doesn't necessarily mean gyms. They're, they're not, not gyms. They're not, not gyms. gyms. Pokemon League. So when he's in the Pokemon League, he's got all the badges, beaten all the gyms, mm -hmm. and he goes to the Pokemon League. Mm -hmm. And he has several fights. They fight on different grounds. Yeah, so they have so, different so, things. So there was what were the first two? So there was grass one. There was there was the ice one. There was the rock one. I remember near the end he fought his friend on the normal one. Okay, so this is the first two we need. I only need two. So it was the water one. Was the first one. And Correct. Then King, Kingler one. Yeah, that would have been the hint. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a hint for you. Alan. <laughs> sorry, uh, sorry. And then he faced the guy on the rock ground one. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Smashed it. Yeah. Straight out. Yeah. Nice one. Well done. Yeah. Question five. In the original series, Indigo Pokemon League. So again, the Pokemon League. He's won the gyms and the badges. Mm. Who beat Ash to knock him out of the tournament? Oh, it was that guy. His friends, Reggie. I'm sure it's Reggie. Because he, he was. He's the other guy that had the other Pikachu, but with a little bit of spiky hair. And he, I remember. You sure it's Reggie and uh, not that's close to what it is? I'm sh I can't remember his name exactly. 
pretty sure it's Reggie. I know, I know the person. I can. It looks basically like Ash. He's got, the, he's got the Pikachu. He's basically got the you've, same. You practically got it. I you just practically the name, got it. The I can. I've, the person's there. <laughs> oh. I'm sure it's Reggie. Dude. You're gonna slap yourself if you just jump in with the current answer you're giving. Or maybe that's a bluff. No, it's. I'm, I'm giving you a free hit. <laughs> See, there really isn't a buff. I'm trying to help you, man. It's Christmas. Oh, ho, ho. I don't know how long ago I watched that episode. I know, I know everything else but the name, and I'm no good with names. You know this. You were, you were damn close. You're so close, well. and you're very close with the name, but it's not quite. And it's got a charm and Reggie. Oh. It's not quite Reggie. Can I not just take the point because? I'm... The guy's no, there. No, you can't. It's, it's got to the be name. the right answer. The name is right there. It's just the person. You wouldn't right know there. that if I didn't tell you were close. <laughs> I know the person, and I'm pretty sure. That's not the answer, though, is it? Don't be rude. Don't be like this. Don't be you like can... this. Like you got a hint. You don't... got two hints left. But I don't want to use it now. Why? Because I know the person, and it's bothering me. Is that your final answer, Reggie? I might be thinking of Reggie Gigas. So that might be the. Point. I don't know who that is. <laughs> That's definitely uh, not the answer. It's, it's a pseudo Pokemon. So you're saying Reggie? Unfortunately, it's Randy. You're saying Randy? Ah, oh, I've lost it. I've lost it. Uh, Roy. Roy. So your answer is Roy King. <laughs> <laughs> Just Roy. The answer. Roger. The person that knocked Ash out of the first Pokemon League Indigo Kanto. But acknowledge, I, acknowledge. I got the I already person, said right? that you were, yeah, you were pr almost spot on. Just you not were the close. Name. Just not the name. You went for 118, you missed. Richie. Fun! Mm, that, that one hurts. Richie, I remember. The name. And I know you would kick yourself for not getting there. <laughs> okay, during the season that, or the series, that is the adventure on the Orange Islands. Okay. The Orange League series, if you will. Please, not another name. Nurse Joy moves between islands on the archipelago of the Orange Island. Why does she do this? The islands, the islands are small, and it's hard to get to the place. It's hard to get to the islands because they're like well, whirlpools all around. So that's why Nurse Joy does that. But she's, I remember she being very tired over there. So why she's... would someone like Nurse Joy need to go to different places? She normally works in a particular place. Yeah, but... Why would she need to go to these islands? Well, because it's, it's a, you know... Think about that... it. Where she works... Yeah, in the Pokemon Centre. Okay. Which is usually, like, an entire town. It's not really... I mean, it is... A you get in there? It's a little bit of a town. They've got, they've got particular gyms over there. Normally, Nurse Joy wouldn't go anywhere. No. Because, as you've stated, cities and towns... Yeah. Well, definitely cities have Pokemon centers and things in them. Yeah. So, so why would she travel to these individual islands? Because they are not particular, particularly big Pokemon centers. It's hard to get to, and you're so close. I want to slap you. <laughs> you were like standing on it. You... <sighs> because it, because they're not big enough. Yes. But a healer would go to these places because they don't. Necess they're small. Yeah, because they don't have the facilities to, um, yeah, to, ba to basically yeah, at, to hire more right, Pokemon so nurses and Pokemon centers and stuff. Right, rephrase that. You can't ask for a hint because I just gave you like no, five. <laughs> <laughs> this person who you normally see in particular place, yeah. working that doesn't usually leave that place. That's their job. Yeah, but happens to not work in one of those places, but go to these islands because the islands are small and they're they're too small. To house, to house one Pokemon Center. You, yes, they, they, there's no, they're too small to have Pokemon Centers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got there. Yeah, yeah. You got there. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Not much prompting. You got there. You. I mean, you, I understood why. I understood why. And then you moved away. It's like no. <laughs> you got it. You were, yeah. You had it. Yeah, and I knew what but I was you were talking thinking about. Too hard. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it nice made one. sense. Correct. Yay! Yay! The first Pokemon movie. That's one, yeah. That came out had a short movie at the start called Pikachu's Vacation. Yes. Which three Pokemon made their on screen debut in this movie short? Uh, Snubble, uh, Marrow. It's one of the original, 150, that was, wasn't was shown in the series. The film came out before that was shown in the series. So its technical on screen anime debut was in the film. Okay, so something that's never been on in the Kanto yes. program. 
I'm going to give you a big hint for free, if my phone works. Okay, so Pokemon number is above 100, between 120 and 150. Okay, so that could be loads. That could be Dragon Knight, that can be any of the... But remember in the Pikachu's vacation thing. Yeah. Preach the fluff from the chair. Between... It's not. It's not above 150. You're, you're gonna. You're gonna feel like the point was ripped away from you if you don't get it. Yeah. So um, it's, it's not above. But I have a hint that will make you get it. it. Could be Jinx. It's not Jinx, but you're along the right lines. Think of Jinx being an obscure, strange character. Mr. Mime. Got it. Mr. Mime. It's Mr. Mime. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. Only took three sorting hints. <laughs> um. No. Yeah. Those are the three. I can't remember. That Mr. was Mime his first it. on-screen debut. I know. When was he there though? I don't know, I've not seen it for years. Neither have I. It was just on a fact trivia thing, and right. I checked it, so it is right. I don't know if it was very quick, went past. <laughs> but, uh, yes. Could have been. Question eight. <laughs> in all Pokemon media, so this is the anime, okay. but it just it gathers in everything. Okay. How many times does Pichu evolve? He evolves into Pikachu, which can evolve into Raichu. But that's it. So the question is, how many times does Pichu evolve he can evolve twice because he's a baby pokemon and then he can go and turn into pikachu you're gonna hit me for this one i think because of the way you've said it no i can't i can't say it any other way because it gives it away unless you want to go for a hint but how many times does pichu evolve evolves twice pikachu and raichu because there's no other uh, evolutions after that i mean you're definitely not talking like a lowland or anything else. You're just talking about normal peak. Yeah, normal I don't Pikachu. even know that other thing you said. <laughs> yeah, it's twice because it's got to be Pichu evolves into Pikachu, which evolves into Raichu. So you're saying when I ask you how many times does Pichu evolve, you're saying two. Yes, and those are the evolutions. Final answer. Yes. Pichu evolves once into Pikachu. Pikachu evolves into Raichu. Yeah. It's, it's not an evolutionary... This is why I couldn't change it to... No, it's not evolutionary chain, which would have been the hint to give you the question. But then wouldn't... It question only evolves one, once. Wouldn't question one be, then it's be... It's only one Pokemon into one other one. Trick questions. But it was, but it wasn't, because the answer is literally in the question. In the Johto Journey series, oh, no. what did Jessie of Team Rocket trade her liquor tongue for? I just thought you'd get this one. So what Is that your final answer, Wobbuffet? Did he come up with final answer? Wobbuffet. Correct? Yes! Well ah. <laughs> no tricks. I knew you would get that oh, one. Yeah, that was... <laughs> Question 10. Question 10. <laughs> Which series does Ash not wear a jacket or a hoodie as his main piece of clothing in? Oh. So again, it doesn't count as when they wear different stuff. They're standard clothing throughout the series. Does he not wear a jacket or a hoodie? And there's only one series. It's quite a famous bit of trivia. And I checked. Oh, you're talking about Sun and Moon. Because Sun he's wearing, and he just wears a t-shirt. Final answer. Yeah, he just wears a t-shirt. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well done. Blue, white stripes. Yeah, fantastic. Do you want two bonus questions? Yeah, sure. First one. In the original TV series, mm -hmm. how many badges does Gary Oak have when he shows off his badges to Ash? In the original? He only does this once, yeah. So he shows him a case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that. With badges. How many badges does he have okay. at the time? So, how far? Hmm. I would like a hint. Uh, and oh, I, yeah, you got a hint. I've got Go hints. On, hints. Yeah, hints, plural. So, but I want to ask a question. You use two. It. Why is there only one circle? Uh, when did I use the second one? Okay, go for it. Because so, you can only use one per question yeah, anyway. But, but can I ask a question for the hint? No. Well, the hint is Gary is very arrogant. Gary is very arrogant. And likes to wind up Ash. Yes. So who's Ash is that? very easily wound up. Yes. So, if Ash showed him whatever number of badges... Yeah. It would be more. Yes. Yes. So, what did Gary show Ash? Your final question... Question? Answer. Your final answer... Answer. To how many badges did Gary show eight. Ash? Yeah. Your final answer is eight. Eight. The correct answer is ten. Gary showed Ash ten badges. Yep. It's all canon. And do you know why he showed him ten? I know. I know. It sounds ridiculous. How? Oh. In the manga, yeah. there was more. You only needed eight to qualify. Yes. In the TV show, they hinted at this by Gary showing 10 when Ash said he had 8. It would have been 7 or 8. I don't know. I don't know that bit. Mm. But I'm presuming it's 7 or 8, he said, to say I'm going to the Pokemon League. Mm. And he showed him 10. 
and you can Google that if you don't believe me. No, I believe you. And you I can believe look at the thing. Yeah, it's frustrating, but, but I saw no, that. because you can get as many badges as you want, but you only need eight to yeah. actually participate. And I remembered he had ten, but I had to check, and it definitely was ten. Ah, so, yeah. the more you know. Yeah. How many of you would have got it right? You look like you were slapping. I wanted to. I was right. like, do you want your last you bonus question? question? I was going to do a Jigglypuff song and start drawing in his face. <laughs> I like, think you're wiggly tough now. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Do you want your last question? Go for it. Which series are Nurse Joys and Officers Journeys not distributed by city, but rather per island instead? So there are a couple of series that are in islands, mm -hmm. which narrows that down for you. Yep. So which series are they not <clears throat> distributed by city, so Celadon, Saffron, blah, 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 mm -hmm. but per island? Right. Okay, so this is the Orange Islands. Okay, so what other places are... No wait, the last one has islands. Yeah, the the, the <laughs> sun and moon. Sun and moon has like, islands. Sun and moon, your final answer. But it's not. That's not what the islands are called or anything. But that's a, that's a series. I'm not asking. What, yeah, I'm asking the series. Yeah. Not what the islands are called. Yeah, because I just didn't have time to look yeah, at yeah, what yeah. islands are called. No, because in X, anything. X Y Z is based on Paris. First one is based on Japan. Yeah, the last one was only islands. Yeah, the okay. last one's islands. I choose sun and moon. Your answer is Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon. Unfortunately, it is actually Sun and Moon. Yeah. You did it. <laughs> well done. So let's count up what you got. Bring up them Ultra Beasts. Seven, seven. Lucky seven. Well done. Well, I'm thank you for that. joining us. Thank you. Merry Christmas. And don't forget, guys, we're going to be having uh, Pokemon S words coming up next week. So stick around, put your notifications up, and it's going to be out every damn Friday. Family friendly. See you guys later. See ya.